Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how you can easily change the status bar of your application uh, in .NET MAUI. Uh, it is very easy to change the status bar of your application using the uh, community toolkit .maui. Uh, this is the plugin that is from the uh, community toolkit. Uh, however, if you try to use that using a uh, style, it won't work. So in this video, we'll be looking at how you can do that. So if you don't know how to change the status bar of your application, we're going to look at that first and then we'll move to how you can then use styles. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so I've created a new project here. Um, so the first thing we're supposed to do is to is to install uh, the community toolkit.maui. Uh, so go to Nuget Packages, and then you search for uh, the community toolkit.maui, and install that. As you can see, I already have that installed. I have the 7.0.1 uh, installed already. So we are going to install this first, and then uh, you go to um, to hook it up at the. If you go to Maui programs, then you have this line of code where it says uh, use Maui community toolkit. So with that, uh, we are good to go uh, to use the the toolkit. So what I have done is to create uh, a, a folder here called Pages, and I've created. Uh, three different pages and I'm also going to be making use of the uh, the, the main page uh, and also here I have the shell which is going to help me with the navigation so if I launch this I, I am registering uh, these four pages uh, so that I'll be able to use them in the navigation and then I've already also hooked, hooked up uh, some of the navigations uh, that is actually needed uh, for this uh, for this application to run so they, they are just simple pages there's nothing on those pages it's just for us to be able to see this, this status bar as we change the color all right so um the simplest way to change the status bar of the application is actually using the um it's using the the toolkit so i'm going to go to the to the main page uh let's go back to the main page the xaml here so if i can open that yeah so main page of XAML and then what we do first is to bring the community the namespace for the community toolkit uh, so it's a long one uh, so I'm just going to copy it and, and paste it here so that we'll be able to uh, make use of it so I'm just going to say uh, Microsoft community toolkit equals uh, this schema so this is the namespace and then with this we will be able to use the um, the community toolkit. So now, uh, at first, I think what I'm going to do is let me launch this application and then we'll see how it currently looks like so that by the time we start to change the color, uh, you see uh, the difference. So I'm just going to run this now quickly and then uh, let's see how it looks. Then we have our page. So as you can see, we have the default Maui uh, color here. So um, let's now change the color to so change the color we're going to do something like uh so that behaviors because the content page is actually derived from the page so we can do it like this and then we can call the uh, mct and then find the the status bar behavior and then we can set the status color let's say something like red and then we can let's let's close it first so you can see that our color has changed uh, to red, and then if you want the uh, start the, the the color of the text on the status bar to be a different color, we can change the uh, style. So let's say status bar style, and change that to say um, a dark content. So if it's a dark content, you can see that it's actually uh, black now. It's dark. So if I, if you change it to light content. Now we have it as a light content. Now, if I navigate to uh, the second page, you can see that um, we have the red color. And this page is saying, Welcome to my channel. Have you subscribed yet? So, if you're yet to subscribe, this is a good opportunity to subscribe. It's free. Uh, subscribe now. Click that notification icon. And so that when, when, when I upload new content, you have uh, a notification uh, to come check out the video. All right. So, now this is very simple so with this now you can have all the status bar of your pages change to this color however 
if you decide to go to the style so let's let's remove this now and i'm going to stop the um i'm going to stop this now so let's say that you want to use styles for, for one reason or the other you want to style different pages to have different colors so we want to use styles styles so let's go to our i'm going to comment this out now and then if we go to our resources and then go to styles style.xaml let's find where we have the page so that is style already for page so as you can see we have this here and um yeah i mean the first thing we need to do is to also bring the namespace so that we'll be able to have access to the to the community toolkit so let's just uh add the namespace up so i'm scrolling back up to where we have the namespace here and then i can add this to it so now if we find where we have a page again I can go back to that and then i can do something like this so let's say setter property and the property we want to change is from the mcc uh and if you look at here there is no status uh bar behavior here but if i decide to say to type it all house status bar behavior um just because there's no intelligence i i want to be sure i am typing the right thing uh, status bar behavior so if you now do dot uh we can say you can see now that we have a uh, different option so status bar color and then we can set the value to say um uh, let's do green so we'll close this and then we can also now do uh setter property if you do status bar behavior dots if you're gonna get this out dot status bar style and then you can set the value to uh, dark content and close this so now we're trying to use style to to um, change this so i'm going to run this now and um, right on top of my head i can tell you that uh, this is not going to work so let's just wait for it and yeah voila it's not working if i go to the next page you can see it's not working and don't forget to subscribe to this channel this is this is reminding you all right so now this is not working and the reason why this is not working is because uh these properties uh they are just they're just properties uh in this status bar behavior class they are not attached properties so because of that we cannot use them like this so what can we do uh for us to be able to use them the way we want and i mean to use tiles so what we're going to do is to let's create a folder let's call it uh, custom and then here we're going to have a class and then we'll call this custom custom status bar behavior now just gonna wait for this to open yeah so now this is our class i'm going to change this to public and then i'm going to inherit the behavior class so i'm going to inherit the behavior class behavior and then the type of behavior is going to be page um, this is not this is behavior yeah and the type is going to be page all right so uh we're going to have two static static property uh for this behavior class so just a private static uh static field rather so the one is just going to be the color and we're going to call it status color we're going to set it to a, def a default color uh from 
from RGB. Let's just use the RGB. Um, so this is going to be white, but we're just going to set it to. Let's make it black. So the default is going to be black. All right. And then the next one is going to be the style. So do private static. Let's call this status bar style. So we're going to make use of this from the community toolkit. So this is one of the reasons why we need community toolkit to, to actually work. So this is from the community toolkit dot maui dot call. And then we call this status style. And let's give it a default value of default. <coughs> default value of default. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to create uh, the attached properties for for uh, the, the the things that we need. So we're going to do uh, public static read only. We call this a bindable property and let's call this the status bar color property status bar color property equals and then we assign this to a bindable property dot create so now here we have different options if we just say create this is just going to create a property for us and then it's just it's not going to work it's going to be like the same thing as in the uh community toolkit but the one i want to do now is to create attached this is going to create an attached property for us so we're going to give it a name let's call it um status bar color so we're trying to just repli uh, replicate this almost the same name that we have in the in the uh community toolkit just so that we have we, we work with something that we are familiar with so let's, let's call this um the status bar color and then the default type is going to be so this is going to be type of color and then we're going to have the default value uh the default value is going to be I mean the the that's something the next thing is the declaring type so you can see from you can't really see it it's uh, out of scope so we have a declaring type uh which is next so it's going to be type of this custom bar behavior so this this is our class so it's going to be type so that's a declaring type and then the next one is going to be the default um default color so it's going to be the default value is going to be color dot from rgb we're going to do the same thing uh so let's just, let's just pass zero comma zero comma zero and then uh we want to also the last thing we need to do is to undo the property change because i'm not going to use make use of the binding mode and some other things i'm just going to say uh call the property change and then uh i'm not assigning it to no uh let's call it on status on status uh, color change that's a long name oh, yeah then we can generate this method which we're going to come back to later on I'm waiting for Visual Studio to generate the method So we have the method generated and then we're going to come back to this so we have the second property attach property that we want to create so it's, it's going to follow the same uh the same pattern we have the property name the the type the, the declaring type the default value and then the property change so uh we're going to have it this way so you can see this one is the status bar style uh the property name the type the declaring type and then the default value and the property change so i'm going to generate this property change method also 
and then we'll also come back to that in a bit so waiting for visual studio to generate the method for us Yeah, so we have this property now and then we'll come back to this two later on now for us to be able to use the attached property we need two two static um methods so i mean two static methods for each of these properties um so let's say public static color so i'm going to type one and then i'm going to bring in the rest so say get and then the property name status the color and then we're going to pass passing the bindable object so bind bindable object let's call this view and then when when we are getting the value what we just want to return is to return uh the call the color the current color so let's just say color uh view dot get value status bar property and the same thing goes for the sets so for the set it's going to be set and then property name and then what we're going, then going to do is to set the value of the property so you can see set status bar color the bindable object and then the value that we want to change it to and then we're going to take our view and set the status bar property color to this value all right so this is for the status bar color then we need the same thing for the status bar style so we need the get and the set so the getter and the setter for those for that property also so we're going to have the get status bar style which is going to return the style and then we have the set status bar style which is going to set it to the current value that we are setting it to so now we are almost done so we need to just come to where our properties are changing so when the status bar color change and when the status uh, bar style also change and for us to do that so i'm going to create a, a private method first because we're going to need it so i'm going to say private uh static void and then i'm going to i'm going to call this add behavior add behavior and this is going to take in uh a page as a parameter so the page that we want to have the behavior to so you will see the essence uh very soon and then right in here what we just need to do is just to say page dot add behavior page dot behaviors rather dot behaviors dot add and then what we're going to add is going to be a new status bar behavior status bar behavior and this status bar behavior is coming from the toolkit so we're still making use of the toolkit the only thing we're just doing is we're creating this this at uh, this uh attached property to extend uh the status the the community toolkit so that we can use it as um as um attached property so i'm gonna end this here and still also add some prop values to this now we want to add two, two properties so the first one first one is a status bar color and then we're going to set it to the status color that we have that's our our private field status color the first set of fields that we created on this page just right at the top and then lastly we're going to say the status bar style equals uh status style that is the second field that we that we created so this is just all it for for the ad behavior I'm going, we are going to make use of this method in these two uh these two uh, property chain um method all right so right here let's let's start with this for the status bar color we're going to say our page let's let's have a page uh 
will be equal to the view. I mean, this is this is bindable, so we just let's just change this to view. You can make use of it as bindable like that, but just gonna change this to view. So we we'll say view. So at least we know what we are dealing with. View as page, and then we we'll just check if um, if the page is not null. If page is not equal to null, then we can start to add the behavior, and then. We also only want to change the status color if the old value is different from the new value. So if you are so if the first if the old value is green and the new value is red, for example, then we want to change it. But if the old value is red and the new value is also red, then there is no point in changing it. So we also want to check if um, the color that we have. So let's let's cast this to color color and then we'll say new value it equals to it's not equal to because if it's equal we don't want to do that so it's not equal to color old value then we can first of all say our status status color will be equal to new value so we are assigning the new new value to our status color and then here we can then add the behavior and pass in our page and then that's it so we're going to do the same thing for the status bar style and it follows the same process so i'm going to copy this and just change the values around so now we have our page if our page is not null then the value that we have is going to be of uh, status status bar style status bar style so if the status bar style the, the new value is not equal to the old value then we want our status style as our field to be equal to the status bar the new status bar style that we have and then we'll hide the behavior all right so this is all we need to do uh for this is all we need to do to be able to use uh, our this as a as style so what we need to go do now is to go back to our style and then come to where we have uh the, so the first thing let's go to the namespace and then we can bring in our namespace now so we have something like um, this so let's call this ct that is custom and then we we'll bring in our namespace which is the status bar styling dot custom and then we can go back to where we have our page so instead of this now what we're going to do is to say we we'll change this to the to the custom status bar behavior so this is going to be ct ct column custom bar custom status bar behavior dot status bar color and we'll set that to green and this also will be the custom status bar behavior dot status bar style and we'll set this to the dark content so with this now we can run our app so let, let me let me Let's be sure that we don't have any style in the main page already i know we've already removed this but to just confirm so we already have this commented out and the last time we, we, we run the app it was back to the default color so now uh let's go back to our style where's the style yeah so now we can run this and then we'll see how it's going to look like all right so as you can see we now have uh, this working using style so we have green if I change this to red you can see, we should see it updates red is updating if I change this to light content I mean do light content and then you can see that is changing to light content now you can see now we've been able to do this however there's another advantage of having to do it this way which I'm going to show you if we go to 
uh, other pages you can see that we have um, you know other pages using the red color but we can also now create a style out of these so that different pages can use different style so let's quickly look at that uh, so what I'm going to do is to copy this this style that we have here I'm going to duplicate this this style and I'm going to give it a name so let's give it a key X key let's call it um, let's call this green let's call this green green page for example and then we'll put this as green all right and then let's go to our page page three and what we can then do is to just say style so we want this page to use the green style so let's say static resource and then we'll call it green page and then let's so before we run this i'm going to, i want to also show you one last thing another beautiful thing about what we have done is we can also consume the behavior as an attack property anywhere in the page so let's go to our to the page four that we have so this particular page now and i'm going to do something like this so let's bring in the namespace uh quickly for the um for our our custom control so let's just do this um xml ms let's call it ct and then we'll call this uh the custom so now, now that we have that, we can do something like this. We can do uh, something like CT or custom uh, behavior dot status bar color. And then we can give this, uh, let's give this purple. And also we can do CT dot custom status bar color dot status bar style and give this uh, a light, let's give it a light content. So with this now, we should have a different color for the page four. So let's run it. So don't forget, we we able to work with our style so that all the pages can make use of the same style. Now we can create separate style for a separate page. So using the style now, which we are referencing in the page three, the XAML you can see here, we're using style here. And on page four, we are making use of what we have created as attach property. So we can decide not to use the style and then in each of the pages where we want it we can just use it this way so if i run this now and go from page one to page two to page three and four we should continue to see different different uh colors and then yeah we have so this is red if i go to page two it's still red if i go to page three you can see this is our green page if i go to if i go back to the main page you can see that we are back to red go to page two Go to page three, which is green. Let's go to page four, it's purple. Go back to the main page. As you, as you can see, as we go to different pages, we have different status bar color. So that's it, guys. We've been able to use style to change the status bar of our pages. And you can see that we have different use cases uh, for it. And that's the beauty of what we, what we have done. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification. Uh, bell so that when I upload new content, you will be notified. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.